right, welcome folks to LRSD TV and live coverage from J.H. Bruns in the Basketball Manitoba Junior High Invitational Grade 9 Senior Boys Basketball Tournament. This is our semifinal, like, no, quarterfinal with yes. uh, Andrew Minarski taking on the number three ranked Sergeant Park. So uh, again, these teams have uh, seen each other twice this year. I was talking to the coach from uh, Sergeant Park. Uh, ten point spread on one, five on the other, so they split the game, so we'll be in for an entertaining game here tonight. So it is uh, Andrew Minarski, I think, with the uh, red jerseys, and Sergeant Park with the gold and green. Starting lineups for Sergeant Park. Zero, Waken Martinez. 17, Vincent Mala, number one, Zachary Wynn, number three, Cyril Dukusin, and number two, John Michael Santillan. Starting for your Andrew Minarski, grade nine boys, we have number 11, Lucien Aradon, number seven, Blair Kajigas, number 18, James Caslam, number 20, Ezra Liano, and number five, Jason Reyes. All right, so far we had a quick exchange of baskets uh, to start off the game. So we're just getting settled in, getting familiar with these names, folks, so bear with us if... Uh, <laughs> Tough luck. That's off of uh, Reyes's hands there. So bringing the ball up is number one. That's Zachary Wynn for the Flames from Sergeant Park. Oh, that's helpful. They got the names in the back. Zero Martinez. <laughs> Thank you, Sergeant Park. Grant, our job has got a whole lot easier. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Great motion offense there. Martinez from the outside. Oh, nice little draw. Yeah, hits the tray. That's number 11, Lucien Aradon. Kicks it outside there. Number 20, ball in his hand. That's Ezra Liano inside the paint for Andrew Minarski. Thanks, Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to the home cooking here in the Jay's Bruns Bronco Dome. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Shirley. That's awesome. Also, we have cookies in our hands. Let me tell you. Yeah. This game, that's going to get a lot more exciting. A little, a little boost to the old blood sugar level. That's right. Now I got, I got some energy. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Warren's going to turn into the auctioneer song. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh Santillan. Good contact there. That's 18, James Caslam. Nice block. Yeah. Lucent Aridon battling inside with the ball. Hell ball. Possession goes Andrew Minarski. Martinez with a look down the pipe. Oh, nice he drills guy. it from the top of the circle. Nice little screen set for him there. Bring yeah. right up. Number 20, Ezra Liano. Yeah, these kids from Sergeant Park, they know two speeds. Yeah. Faster and faster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're fun to watch. They know how to play some defense, too. They and there they pressure. go. They're going to play some full court pressure. Good kick up the court there by Andrew Minarski's number 11. Lucien Aridon. There it didn't. Oh, nice. Nice collapse yeah. to grab that ball by number two. 
James Caslam there with a the good hand, and look at him go. Well. Oh, look at that speed. And he's safe at second to finish. <laughs> <coughs> Nice little drop off to his teammate. Good hustle game back. Yeah. Flames doing a great job of game back under the throwing basket, not giving up anything easy down low. Very scrappy. Giving up nothing easy. Warren, can you ask the teams to slow the pace down so we can enjoy the good eats there? Teams I know, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, good. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're about to go into a timeout. It looks like we're going into uh, Sergeant Park. Here we go. Little technical difficulty there, so they've asked us to come back on air. We're coming back in. We have a five-point game. Sergeant Park Flames, number three in this uh, seeded tournament, up 9-4 over the Andrew Minarski Lancasters. Interesting nickname, Lancasters. There goes to be some history and significance to that. I wish I could fill you in and say what <laughs> yeah. that is, but I'd just mm, be I got making, nothing. <laughs> I, I'll just be making stuff up right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that we never do on these LRSD <laughs> yeah, TV <right>. broadcasts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, they said that there's no mic. Huh. But right now, the Flames coming out hard. Uh, you know, again, as you mentioned, you know, full speed, um, playing hard at both ends. And right now, they built themselves up a little 9 4 uh, lead. And for the Lancasters, big number 20, uh, Liano, showing his presence down low. So I'm sure they're going to be looking to, you know, keep trying to pound the ball to him. So it's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting game. Yep. I'm not sure what the uh, discussion is over on the side, if it was about possession or about the, the scoring. Mr. Indome is over there to uh, keep a lid on things. Swings it around to number five, Jason Reyes. There is a big board there by number 20. That's what they're looking for from Ezra Liano. I thought there was a varsity game when he walked in. He's a long, big kid. Man, he's gonna put some pressure on the outside. Oh my. All right, win with a big shot, big three. Saying, okay, you know what? If you he want to come out a, here, all those shoots. He has a big range to score from. He'll take it to the rim and he'll hit it from Furmore. <laughs> yeah. And number three getting caught on the foul from behind. That's zero. Uh, the Cousin going to the line is number 20, Ezra Liano shooting two. Missing on the front end, so hopefully he can hit the back end. Good rebound there by number two for the Flames, John Michael Santillan. Win taking it to the baseline. Oh, nice rebound. Number three squeezing it through, dishing it off, getting called on the travel. So we're going to have a sub coming in for Sergeant Park into the game, number 11, Kent San Jose. Checking out number 17, Vincent Maula. Oh, nice closeout. Sergeant Park comes out in a full court press. Nice pass up there. Little dip of the shoulder apparently by Martinez. He gets called for the push. Non-shooting. Andrew Minarski ball on the baseline. 12-6, Sergeant Park. Ball into Liano. Turn over there. 
That's the Kusin taking it to the rim. Oh, that's fine. And dishing it off to Martinez for the easy bucket. Smothering. My goodness, good rotation there. Push the ball. Martinez takes it to the rim, left hand. There's a good rotation there. Reyes with the putback. Very athletic play there. Yeah, we had to find his own rebound too, right? He didn't yeah. give up on the play, he followed his shot. So he was rewarded by getting that ball and having another opportunity to score again. Don't blink because you are going to miss win from Sergeant Park. So quick. Long outlet pass there by Andrew Menars. He's going to take it to the rim. No call on either side there. Ball into the hands of number two, John Michael Santillan. Good block there by Riano. And they're pushing the ball the other way. Good dish off to Liano by number 18, Caslam. Big block. And just like that, we have a four point game, folks. Two point game. Ball into the hands of Sergeant Park. DeCousin looks to dish it off. Goes baseline, nothing there. Win from three. High rebound there. And we're gonna have a Minarski ball baseline. Martinez, good presence, just couldn't wrap it up. Very quick first quarter. Uh, we're, we're under just under a minute. <laughs> yeah. By a, a hair. And we have a 16-14 game. Uh, we have to log in. Uh, Lano uh, trying to back the man down into the paint. Did all the right things, gets his own rebound. Good battle inside. Now we have a tie game. Yeah. Over a 32 minute game, he's gonna wear somebody down inside. Marski ball on the possession arrow. There will be no death settle on any one of these players tonight. No kidding. <laughs> oh jeez. That was a great pass there. Reyes converts. Yeah, nice little find inside. Yeah. Kajijis with a nice thread the needle. Martinez says, see one, play one. Yeah, I'll answer. I'll have an answer for you. Yep. 18 all nearing the end of the first quarter here. And Liano. He's going to finish. There we go. Yeah. Nice little footwork to get himself back to the basket. Nice little soft touch. Yeah. Making his presence known. That's at least his 10th point already in, uh, in this early game. Big push by Menarski in that last three minutes to uh, end up going up two. They trailed most of that first quarter, Warren. Yeah, they seem to all of a sudden find that gear. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're seeing a lot, of full, uh, a lot of pressure put onto them by the Flames in that full court uh, press. But all of a sudden, it's like a little switch just went on, and you know what? They found their full court game. Yep, so again, this is why we uh, come to this point in the year. Teams have been working hard. You know, lots of practices, lots of games, lots of individual work. So they're looking to take advantage of all that and uh, be successful by the end of tomorrow as the grade nine champion in the Basketball Manitoba Junior High Invitational Senior Boys Tournament here at J.H. Bruns, brought to you by LRSD TV. So? Game plan, Warren, coming out in the second quarter. Well, right now, with uh, Andrew Minarski, they're having a lot of success pounding the ball down to Liano. He's got good footwork, good positioning. You know, he's a tough guy to stop once he gets that ball. So, you know, we'll 
something that I'm sure certain the price will be talking about right now is, hey, listen, we have to be aware of where he is. As soon as he gets that ball, let's collapse two guys on him. Like, yeah. he cannot get a dribble on us. He cannot get any, any foot speed. Now, for Andrew Minarski, they want to talk about that full court pressure. You know, let's not panic when the Flames come at us. We need to step back a little bit, make sure we get to beat the pressure with the ball. So, But you know what? Both teams here are well matched up. We should have a great game. Yeah. You know, over the course of two games, a five-point differential. So uh, in their regular season, good rotation around there. Misstep by Win. Good presence there by his uh, counterpart. That's number 11. Era didn't play in defense on Zachary Win. Andrew Minarski coming out in a little bit of a zone, trying to take away the drive to the basket. Touch by Sergeant Park, so we've got an Andrew Minarski front court possession. Yeah, Leanne's got to play like he's that six foot two frame. He's got to keep the ball up high. Yeah. Keep a good ledge. Exactly. Jason Reyes throwing some good fundamentals inside. Stays after it. Comes, comes up empty this time, but not for lack of effort. No, unless he's in that key, he's got yeah. really good footwork. And there's Leanna with a the big block there inside on Martinez. Wind showing his speed to yeah. chase on that ball. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh, Welcome to the Wind, Zachary Wind Magic Show, folks. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> now you see me, now we don't. Now you don't. Ole. Cuts it off on the other side. Nice outside shot there. That's number 18. James Caslam. We have a replay of that shot from the outside. Nice little touch for three point land. Martino with, Martinez with the pull up. Good battle inside. Both these teams are doing a very good job of keeping hands in the lanes and making it tough to make any easy passes. Yeah, I you think know, you definitely have to have uh, yeah. misdirection and purposeful on your passing. Oh, with these guys, absolutely. Yeah. Because, you know what, anything easy is going to get picked off or, in the case of win, run down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There's a good play there. Yeah. You know, got to step to the pass. Look now, nice no look finish. underhand pass. Nice strong finish. Yep. That was the Kusin with the finish. Yeah, that's what we're put, the ball, put the ball in the right spot on his, off, on his offside hat. Yeah. Excuse me. And we've got a timeout, Sergeant Park. In other sporting news, folks, in the NHL, it's the Winnipeg Jets and the Philadelphia Flyers. One all at the end of two. Nice. <laughs> all right, folks, so we're going to head on down into... Uh, Looks like we're going to be oh, going we're down to go into Marski. the Lancaster. Yeah, and we'll take a peek at their huddle here. We're not getting into the press break quick enough. I didn't want a man being there. Okay, same thing. I don't want him to him to be getting the ball. If you get into your press break just like you were, we'll be fine. But get into it right away. All right? We want you cutting across and a man coming and taking your space. Understand? And when we get Turn and face. Don't you see Go, boys. Let's go. So, Karch Armagan there just talking about uh, make sure you get in that press break after made baskets and uh, make sure that, uh, you know, cutting through and then somebody replaces your spot. So, uh, basic fundamental basketball, running lanes, you know, use the pass to break the press. Nice roll there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Very athletic defense there by number 11. Again, just enough to alter the shot. And there's Leano. Ball in the hands of number 11. Error didn't. Nice move there. Very nice move. Strong yeah. move to the basket. That's uh, Blair Kajigis. We have a little replay oh. here. Blair fakes him out, 
and go straight to the basket for an easy hoop. Not only a replay, but a slow mo replay. <laughs> yeah. Again, just high production quality. Absolutely. So big shout out to whoever's doing the replays out there. Well done, sir. We have the master at the controls running the replays tonight. The one, the only, Mr. Ken Planick. Zachary Wynn, ball into the hands of Martinez, coming off the screen. Zachary Wynn from the corner. A little unfortunate there for Caslam. Ball off his leg, out of bounds. Sergeant Park ball. 4.50 left here in the first, first half. Andrew Minarski has uh, maintained a three point lead here to start the second quarter. <clears throat> Defensive adjustment right now has made it tough for uh, Sergeant Park to find that drive in that lanes that they're having success in the yeah. first quarter. Officials just getting uh, both coaches settled and with clear messages about where the call was made or why the call was made. <clears throat> I'm tired watching these guys bounce all day. <laughs> <laughs> Very athletic teams here. Oh yeah, just no quit. You know, follow their own shots, get their own yeah. rebounds, just constantly jumping in lanes. Ball down into the corner with uh, Jason Reyes. Looking for Leano down in the paint. He's gonna back his man in. Kicks it out to Caslam. Still battling. The pogo stick ability of number three, Cyril DeCousin. Able to keep that ball alive. Nice speed there. Keeps him on his back. Couldn't convert, but he's gonna go to the line for two. Shooting two for Andrew Minarski, number 11. That's Lucien Erididen. <laughs> Off the back of the rim on the first one. On a made basket, we've got a sub waiting on the side for Sergeant Park to come in. And he makes good on the back end. Good enough to stop the clock and into the game for Sergeant Park, number 11, Kent San Jose. Nice jump stop there by San Jose. Or no, that's number two, that's uh, Santillan. Sergeant Park, yeah. making sure that Leano doesn't get a look at that ball. Has a run down the lane. That's number seven. Kajijis saw the opening, took advantage. Open it up to a six point lead, does Andrew Minarski. And there's Kajijis on the other end. Here it didn't. Looking for Jason Reyes. Spin move, comes back the other way. We've got Sergeant Park ball. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Change the decision between the officials. Our yeah. lead official on the baseline had a little better view of that. Makes the over call on his partner. Not a problem. It's all about getting the calls right. Kajijis. He's going to hope. Oh. He thought Leano was uh, rotating down. Nice off look oh, there yeah. by number three, the Cousin. Created all kinds of space with that little fake pass. Yeah. We talked a little bit about that earlier. That's what you need to do right now. 
Travel ball. It's going to be a big possession here for Sergeant Park. They really, yeah. if they can get a conversion here, then that's going to make the game that much tighter. Martinez with the outside shot. In and out. Good rebound, good hustle there by Jason Reyes. He's looking up court. Wow. <laughs> he is electric. Zachary wow. Wynn. Wow. What speed. Kick out to Leano down into the corner. Back to him. He's going to take it down the lane. Back the big man in. Nice job. I'm going to create my own space. Thank you very yeah. much. Hard to stop back. Yeah. Long distance there. Yeah, can't telegraph passes with these guys. That's going to be uh, wrapped up and taken the other way real quick. Oh yeah, before you even blink. Yeah. Castle on the foul. That's our first team foul for Andrew Minarski for this half. We have a timeout, Minarski. Sergeant Park will get the ball in the front court. All right, folks, uh, we're going to go down and uh, we're going to join the timeout and Sergeant Park, and so we'll take you down now. Hey, let's run, let's run special. Let's run special right now, right? Let's get a good shot, get a good three. Okay, right, we're here, right? We have JM here, right? Okay, we have Zach. Here? Yeah, it's a good video. Sorry. Hey, uh, where's... Kent's on the other side. Oh, Kent's on the other side. Yeah. And then we have CJ here, right? Yeah. Right? That's all so, That's all TV. Right, Jack, look. So you're going to come in a little bit. You're going to come, right? You're going to double screen right here. Uh, pitch the ball to Zach. Kent's going here. Get the ball here. Right, JM's going to go down here. Get the pop out. And we have... We have uh, Joaquin will get the ball here. We'll reverse here. The ball. Right. Joaquin will get the ball here and then reverse it to Zach. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get to Zach. Let's go. All right, we have 143 left here in the first half. We have a four point game. Andrew Minarski up over the Sergeant Park Flames. Martinez backing it out, creating space. That was a good screen up top by Santillan. Just misses player cutting on the baseline. Turnover, Wynarski ball. Noah Schindel is into the game for, uh, looks like Ezra Liano. Oh yeah, number 16. Park continues their full court press. Ball into the hands of Jason Reyes. Back up top, number seven, Kajijis. And just that quick ball's going the other way. Good gather there by Santillan. Martinez goes over top of his teammate, says, I'll take that. Nice side pass. Coos in there with the reverse. Ooh, big push. Just a little too much mustard on that <laughs> hot dog there. <laughs> Just got a little too far away from him. Just enough pressure being applied by both teams to alter shots. Yeah. That, yeah, nothing's going to come easy today. Ball in the hands of Gajijas. Oh, that's a dangerous spot to be in half court oh. trap. Yeah, and the pressure was coming because yeah. it was ready to go pinch down. Oh. 
squeezes through, he's got numbers. Kicks the ball back up top. And he pushes the ball to Kusin. Converts. Oh, there we go. Tie game, folks. And that ends. Second quarter. Very exciting first half. Yep. Uh, lots of back and forth, a lot of full court pressure, a lot of fast breaks. So halftime, 30 all. We had a half we had a halftime uh, score tied between our two teams before this. It was uh, Acadia and I have a good memory, it's just pretty short, Warren. <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> It was Acadia, Acadia and Calvin. Calvin, thank you very much. Tied at the half. So uh, I almost think it was like 33 as well, wasn't it? Or was yeah, it, it was within 32, 32. Maybe 32, something 32 like that. or something, yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. We'll join you back with about two minutes left, folks. Broadcast Media Program here at ATC is an excellent and fun eight-credit program that gives the students the opportunity to be a part of the TV, radio, and media industry. They're going to learn the basics of broadcast media, so they're going to be learning how to be on-air people, how to work with camera, be technical people behind the scenes, editing, special effects, graphics, we're going to show them how to do films, documentaries, news. There's so many aspects to broadcasting nowadays, it's just not as simple as I'm going to be a cameraman at a news station. They can do so much more. So uh, we're going to teach a lot of different aspects of this industry. Students work on state-of-the-art computers, audio equipment, professional cameras, and a fully mobile production studio. That studio travels from school to school broadcasting live events on the LRSD.TV online TV station. The equipment we're using here at ATC is close to professional broadcasts as we possibly can afford. Obviously some things are very expensive so we can't afford buying all those things, but we're using professional cameras. Uh, we have a full-size switcher, which is very expensive, and we have a lot of equipment here, including a radio station that's using professional radio software, the same stuff you'd see at a radio station. We're trying to emulate industry as best we possibly can with what we have here, and I think it's really cool that students get to use these kind of toys at a high school level. Students also get to work on LRSD TV and LRSD radio. This will give students hands-on opportunities and real experiences that you would find on a professional job site. We actually are creating a TV station here and a radio station for students to hone their skills. The best way to do it is continuing to do it hands-on. So one of the things that we do a lot of are sporting events for television. And we're, we're going to be starting our radio program this year where students will actually be on the air and be able to be heard by family and friends on the internet. It's because of opportunities like this that makes the students excited to be part of this program. I would really say that this program has a lot to give. They teach you everything in every single detail, the theory part, the practical things. And uh, also you get to meet a lot of new people over here. You get to make contacts. You get to know about the industry a lot. So it's a really good uh, program if you're thinking about going in uh, photography or videography things. So much in this course that you just don't know before you take it. Like, you don't really know broadcasting is a, you know, a job. Maybe you do. I don't know. Uh, and you, I learned everything about post-production. The teacher is great. He has experience in the industry, and we use great equipment. By the end of the program, the goal is to prepare students for a career in the broadcasting industry or to move on to post-secondary education. Students can go on a four-week work experience Thanks to the experience they get here using professional equipment and broadcasting sporting events, students have the opportunity to get a job in the industry and find entry-level employment in the field as general operators, television assistants, camera operators, editors, and more. Now I work for Dome Productions that works under TSN, and they do sports such as the Jets and the Bombers. So Mr. P gave out my name to TSN and got me the job for the Bombers and I did Parab. So they liked me and I ended up getting another job with the Jets. So I do the score bug for them. You want to join this exciting program? Go to our website or call us at 204-237-8951. Do you want to spark your interest in working with electricity, wiring and hands-on projects? Then the Electrical Trades Program over at the L'Oreal Arts and Technology Center is the course for you. This 8 credit program is designed for students that have an interest in electrical work, providing a strong emphasis on commercial and residential wiring. You will also learn about the Canadian Electrical Code, while also working on a variety of theory and hands-on based projects during the semester.
The electrical program is a great start to a student that is either interested in becoming an electrician or just has an interest in home repair and electrical in general. So they can uh, learn a little bit about residential wiring uh, or they can train to work with companies in the construction industry. And I like working with my hands so I thought like either construction or electrical or anything, something like that would be perfect so I thought that electrical is, was a good fit and it makes good money and there's not a lot of women in the trade so I thought that, why not. In the course students will learn the introduction to electrical trades, wiring methods, residential wiring, they will also learn AC and DC fundamentals and commercial wiring. Students will have access to professional equipment and a facility that's completely on-site and it will allow students to work on hands-on based projects while working with the tools and materials that are being used in the field. They're going to have some hands-on tool use for the tools that they would be using in the trade. I teach them the proper terminology for tools um, that they're going to be using on a regular basis as well as some tools that the employer would provide access to. The instructor in the course is knowledgeable with over 15 years working in the industry. Uh, well he's very good at giving positive feedback. He's obviously in the trade for quite a while so he has really good experience. He teaches well. His exp explanations are clear and when you don't understand something he walks you through with it. Just the way he kind of teaches it's it's interactive and you kind of make sure that we're all following along and when he sees us getting bored he kind of he always finds a way to kind of brighten the mood per se. Some advantages to the program includes working with all equipment and facilities that are designed under apprenticeship Manitoba guidelines, working both on hands-on based and theory projects, and it also gives students an advantage to be able to get a head start in the industry. This just gives me an advantage when I go into the career and in the trade and just go with other journeymen and everything like that. After graduating, students will have access to many options, including focusing on further post-secondary learning in a related section of the industry, or they can get an apprenticeship in which students work alongside a journeyman to continue their career. If they want to get into an apprenticeship, they need an above 70% average, and with that, they are qualified after 900 hours, uh, basically part one and part two, they are they graduate with a level one apprenticeship status. If you want more information about this course, you can visit us at our website at www.lrsd.net forward slash schools forward slash ATC or by calling us at 204-237-8951. Here we are. We're starting the second <laughs> half here with the uh, All right. last game of the day from J.H. Bruns in the Basketball Manitoba Junior High Invitational Senior Boys Tournament. We've got a heck of a game here, Warren. It's 30-all uh, to start the second half between Andrew Minarski Lancasters and the Sergeant Park Flames. And like you said earlier, don't blink. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> these guys, uh, they're, they're going fast. Leanna with the ball in the corner. Looks to take a baseline, back his man inside. Nice little move. There he goes, gets his own rebound. Yeah, See yeah. if he can convert what he was just finishing uh, the warm up period at halftime. He was practicing his foul shots, so knowing that he was going to probably get a lot of ball inside. Yeah. Good look at it, good rotation. Yeah, he'll look to convert this one. Yeah. Did a good job of creating some space there. Attacking the basket. There he is. There he goes. Got a stroke from the line. Zachary Wynn, if you haven't uh, joined us yet, very exciting point guard for Sergeant Park. 
His name, his nickname could be Blink because he's here and then he's gone. Oh, yeah. The magician. Yeah. Remnants of Charlie Roberts from the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice little double team yep. down low Jason there. Jason Reyes kicks the ball out. Little finger roll there. Nice job there by Reyes. And away we go. Sergeant Park ball. Dekusen putting the ball in. Pressured by Reyes. That's a good spot to start, putting the ball into the hands of Zachary Wynn. Little pop and look off the far side. Oh, nice big side for yep. the rebound. Wow. <laughs> yeah, see Boys it. have come out of the gate. It's uh, physical to start the second half. Coach is just looking for explanation yeah. there. Oh, Martinez with just, you know, trying to thread the needle there just a little bit too, too far forward yep. for. Uh, Sergeant there. Park coach is telling his boys just to, to breathe, rely on their form and their technique. Take good looks at the basket. Double team there, they get out of that one. Now they're going to attack the basket. Oh, yeah. That's number 11. That's Eridin. Ball into the hand of number 18, James Caslam. And we've got a hell ball. Possession arrow, Andrew. Uh, Sergeant Park, so it stays this way. Andrew Minarski. Hmm. I think we're, mi I think we're mixed up on the arrow. Yeah. Because the, the uh, the Sergeant Park just got down the hell ball, and yeah. it's still pointing to them, so. Yeah, it should be flipped over there. Yeah. Well, I know one of the coaches will make they'll, note of it. Yeah, they'll, they'll catch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh. Mala from the line. Sergeant Park has uh, made their way back into the lead, up 33-31. 5.45 left here in the third quarter. We have a lane violation. Not called. Leano not scared to put the ball. That's good to see. Underneath the basket there. Oh, good pressure. Missed to you by... Live interactive basketball oh, in the stands. Yeah, right, yeah. Coming right at you, Coming. folks. Screen for win. Zachary pulls it up. There's a great look. He does a nice job of squaring himself up on those. Yeah, nice even off, of, even off of speed. Yeah. Oh, there he is, too. Yeah. Get his hands in the lane just enough to interfere. Picks off up that ball. Offloads his teammate. That's uh, Dukusin, or no, Santillan. Getting good contributions from everyone on the Sergeant Park team right now. Good recognition by Minarski. You know, they know the full press court pressure. Yeah. So they know they got an open man downfield. James Caslam going to the line for two. Yeah, the Flames really turn on the heat this uh, third quarter. Oh, nice one. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been thinking about that one for a while now. Yeah, I've been fanning the embers. We're getting up into the full blown range. Or, yeah, I've heard of the window yeah. of the sales for Kelvin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of something. Yeah. Oh, big uh, Leano. Nice job by yeah. Leano underneath. He's going to be a force going down the stretch. Yeah. Can't teach height. No, that is not true. Good quick Ooh. hands there by Kajigis, number seven. Good elevation there by number two. That's John Michael Santelin. Oh, a little miscue there by Reyes. They're battling. Refs are letting them battle. Martino is underneath. 
to Dukusen. Got called on the travel. That's a play by Martinez there, just yeah. to, you know what, unselfishly give up the ball. Even though there's no one in front of him, recognize that, you know what, we'll get quick of the basket through the pass if I give it up to win. Yeah, Menard, you got to remember the fundamentals and a ball fake here because, uh, yeah. there we go. He's got to keep him on his back. Yeah, Good job, went. Tuliano and Santillan. That was a good, good dish off to Liano by Kajijis there. Get the big man involved. Yeah. All right, Liano trying to interrupt this 13-3 run here that uh, Sergeant Park's got going in the second, yeah. in the second half here. Yeah, how quickly the game changes. And we've got uh, 10 points going the other way for Sergeant Park. Nice stroke there by Liano from the line. Down to a nine point gap, trying to close it to eight. Good communication, calling on the outlet. That is just a wonderful first step by Zachary Wynn with the ball. Oh, he's so explosive. Yeah. Good patience by Kazan there. Now it's about quality possession. Could you just looking inside? Just got to get Rhea stepping into that ball. Nice drive to the basket there by number two, John Michael Santillan. And I heard that foul. Yeah. <laughs> and again, it was creating by, you know, he gave a ball fake, you know, mm -hmm. and by doing so, you know, he just capturing the defense uh, a little bit on their heels. He attacked the basket. So we have a timeout at Andrew Minarski. Look, <laughs> It looks like we're going to be going to Sergeant Park. We did that in the first half, right? Where we left them back in the game. You can't do that right now, right? You need to keep playing, pushing hard. The rotations on the back of our, of our press have to come back. You guys have to keep coming back, right? When the guys that are pressing up front, you need to get closer. Don't give them space so that he can see the full court. This way, he, he'll know where you're actually going with the ball, right? If you give him that pressure, he's not going to be able to look downfield, right? Down the court, right? And the back. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. In the backside, you know that you know that you've got to come back and run back down that middle, right? On offense, be patient a little bit. Remember, we got 35 seconds, man. Right? Two or three, three uh, possessions. Like push it to the right, push it to the left. You're gonna see the gaps open up more, right? And you can have driving lanes, right? Attack the basket. Right? Okay? Ready? Come on! Don't let up. Ready? Three, two, one. Play. So, coach for Sergeant Park, especially on offense, be patient. He wants the boys to swing the ball, start to create those, uh, get the, the defense moving, and then you'll start to see the seams open up. Yeah. yeah, Coach Paulo also just talking about a little bit about that full court pressure, making sure the front guys, you know what, let's put a lot of heat on them. Let's not give them anything easy looks. Yeah. Because uh, you know what, they do have that speed in that backcourt because they can yep. easily pick things off. Cut the window down that they have exactly. to look through. Exactly, yeah. There we go. Let's see how the guys respond here. Jesus. Oh, Good yeah. rotation there by Santillan. He's going to take it to the hole. Good strong finish. San Jose with good pressure on the back end. Knocks it out of bounds. Yeah. Sergeant Park really bringing and heat again, on here. He's two for two. Yeah. Now they got the eight seconds. Now he's got some numbers. He'll take it on the dish. The G just converts. There. Finds a Kusin down low. Patience. 
Way to find the open hole by the Cousin, number three. There we've got the charge on Minarski. Again, win with hustling. He tried one earlier in the game and, he, you know, put near the basket. And he, uh, he didn't get the call here, but here he got there over fast, got his feet planted, and was rewarded for his hard work. Yep. So it's now a 14 point spread by Sergeant Park. Santillan converts, or that's the Cousin, pardon me, pardon me. Great pressure there by Zachary uh, Wynn to funnel him into that uh, trap. Yeah. My goodness, there's a quick set of hands out here in the floor. Wow. A little underhand scoop pass. <laughs> There's good back pressure there by Martinez, straight up yeah, and down. Good double. Yep, we've got a held ball. <laughs> As we yeah, were talking about earlier, we were talking about yeah. earlier. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. Nope. And they got it right. So there we go. Good. Now we got it correct. There's a dish off. And a little outside shot by number 14. And that's Aaron. Men, men again. Yep, picked up the wrong foot. Yeah. Good hustle though. There's number three into the game for Andrew Minarski. That's Stefan Pedracchio. It's under control, dish. but they play like the hair's on fire, Mark. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it is a fire, yeah. No kidding. Oh, to be nice. 14 and be able to... Oh, <laughs> you just run. Yeah. 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 Of course, there's a back over call because uh, they jumped from the front court into the back, catching yeah. the ball, which of course that would be a, uh, a turnover. Kicks it out there, kicks it around. They're gonna swing it around the outside. Good pull out by Kajigis. Pressure by Martinez there. the handle, pushes yeah. the ball. There goes the Cousin. Good follow there. Caslam taking the ball there. Good strong dribbles down the court. Nice push. Gets him on his back. Not a bad foul there, prevents the basket. Puts him to the line for two. Keeps the score within 14, but they're already into bonus. 33.1 left in the third quarter, so not too bad at this point. Makes the front end of two is number three, Cyril DeCousin. Sergeant Park violates and Minarski wasn't lined up, so that's, uh, that's a tough one. So Minarski looking to get at least one good look here, but uh, this could be four possessions the way these guys play <laughs> with 30 oh, yeah, seconds yeah, left. Totally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How quick they move up and down the floor. Yep. Totally. Oh, it's a little too far underneath, his, underneath the basket. I don't know how his legs folded like that. <laughs> That's 10 seconds. Dekusin with the year, is he chip in? Well, that's two possessions. Here's three. Oh. And there we go. Ends the 
third quarter, 57-40, 17 point lead by the Sargent Park Flames. Heading into the final stretch in this grade nine boys, junior high invitational basketball Manitoba tournament. Of course, Sergeant Park finding a lot of success offensively. That was a 27 point quarter for them. Yeah. So I believe the winner of this will go on to play Acadia tomorrow. They were successful over Calvin in the game just before this. Oh, that'd be, uh, that'd be a, a good game. Lots of speed for all the teams, both these teams and Acadia. Yeah. And Acadia, lots of speed and lots of length on their team. So, uh, yeah, it'll be, uh, be an entertaining game. A lot of athleticism. We'll have to get rested up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Eat our carrots, make sure we you know, yeah. Yeah. don't blink. We, uh, you know, 17 points. We saw Acadia, they were up in that final quarter, but uh, they kept the pedal to the metal. They didn't look to uh, use the possession clock. So we'll see how Coach Paulo here in a Saint, uh, or Sergeant Park Flames manage this final eight minutes. Based on what I've seen, I think they like just to, they like to go, so. Oh, totally. But they'll be looking for quality possession, but they'll still push. Kicks the ball out there to San Jose. And. Good look there by Reyes. Nice rotation oh. down there. Wow. Unfortunate by Reyes there. And Zachary win. Caught a stray hand coming across on the uh, attempted block. Oh, we got a little replay here from a camera shot underneath. Oh, yeah. Whoa, yeah. I'd, I'd say there's a little contact there. Yeah. So he was good on the front end and made scoring two. He's going to go to the line for one, trying to make the three point play. Zachary win. Real spark plug here for the Sergeant Park Flames. Firing on all cylinders. Oh, there we go. I was going to say spark. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely you can light it up, that's for sure. Oh, not sure what happened, but it looks like our lead referee got a little distracted there. <laughs> Martinez got caught on the hold there. Minarski ball front court. That's it, taking advantage of the size. Just can't throw a handle on his Reyes, so it's a Sergeant Park ball coming in off the base. Minarski falls back into a half court defense. Kicks it back out to Zachary Wynn. Thank you very much. Nice little pull up three there. That was a good look by Caslin, just uh, didn't convert it. There's gonna be the double there. Good chip back. Well done by the animal. I think they gotta work the big man. Oh yeah, he's uh, definitely a major key in their offense. A little stutter step, pass off the dribble, hits the open man, easy six foot shot. Over pursue there, and there we go. Number 20 making his presence inside. 11 point, those are chipping away at it. Stay the course. Oh. Not just one, but two passes off the back. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh. Oh, we got a little replay of that here. Stuff, There's a trap. Yeah.
And that's with those offensive players when they start driving. As long as they get the feet of the defender moving, they're in the advantage. That's right. Yeah, especially getting caught running back a little bit. Yeah. Well, Caswell needs a good rotation on here to convert the back end. It's a 19 point lead right now. Yeah, that's a good rebound and put back. Santillan, good dish. Martinez finds easy basket underneath. Sergeant Park pulls off the press. They're into a half court defense now. Slipped off his hand, that was a great move. Nice cross court pass off the dribble there by Zachary Wynn. Yeah, that was actually quite a long pass when you consider it. Right hey? across court. Favorable bounce there by Jason Rance for the three. Nice dish wow. off there. I don't know how he got that out of his pocket, right. Martinez, but uh, more skills than luck for sure. Well done. <laughs> Santillan with the quick hands. Good help out there by San Jose. Martinez coming down hard. 16 had a look at it on defense, but decided not to. Nice job there by Number 18. Ball down to the corner. Leanna with a little shoulder bump. Off of Sergeant Park, we've got a Menarski ball on the baseline. Timeout call by Coach Paulo of Sergeant Park Flames. It looks like it will be going down into the flames huddle right now, so we'll send her down. Look, this is the time of the game that is get really weird, right? If we let up a little bit, they're coming on back and making this huge run, right? You need to keep going with our offense. Look, they're tired. Keep pushing the ball. Can, can we stop with these one-handed passes? Can we? Can we stop that? Because those are not control. They've gotten two hands on those balls and we, you know what, those are possessions now. Every possession counts down the stretch now, right? Every rebound counts now down the stretch. So let's make the most of this. Two points by two points, but a good defense. We've got to get them at half court. It's a little bit different, right? But we can still pressure them. It doesn't matter. We're still doing our game. We play our game. Push the ball, fast break, right? If we get the ball in half court, let's run the offense. Right? All right, so Coach Paulo telling his guys to uh, keep pushing the ball. Right? Yep. Don't want to uh, change the rhythm of their game, so. Falls into the hands of Leano there, and he's gonna put the shot up. Oh, big man yeah. from outside. Yeah, he's had, uh, he's got a nice touch on the ball, doesn't he? He does. Love to see how many you got this game, actually. Love yeah. to see the score sheet. Oh, nice little dish. Mauro for two. Nice misdirection there. Good body position there by Reyes. Yeah, they just, they react so quickly. So fast. Yeah. Great job by the offside players to go to the basket because they they know their yeah. teammates, if they collapse on them, they're going to be there, there for the rebound or they're getting their hands on the ball, so. Yeah, and there's replay of Mal just throwing out the ball, like, yeah. Yeah. There's Cass on the three. 
17 point game right now with 247 left. Good tip back rebound there by Kaslam. Yep. Coach now wanting them to take advantage of the uh, the shot clock. Good screen there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Finding a way. Yeah. Wow. He's a slippery one, that Zachary Wynn. <laughs> <laughs> Finds a way to the basket. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Such a fun player to watch. He certainly is. These guys got big tanks. They have been going all game. Oh, and there's no quit. Yeah. Like they're they're going just as hard in minutes. Yeah, there's been no change yeah. in uh, Last the pace of play right from the beginning yeah. to now. Yeah. That was a big first step there. Nice play by number three. That's Stefan Pedracchio. Jarvik and Jesus. with some good ball possession there. How was the Kazlum? Looking to split it, kick it out, but there's a good read by Santillan. Kazlum there was a good look. Leano's got to get the ball up. He's going to go to the line for two. That's Maulo on the hold. <laughs> Off the front end for Ezra Liano, looking to convert on the back end. Ball into the hands of, uh, just change of pace. Stutter yeah. steps. Yeah. Now they're going to play a perimeter game. Keep moving the ball. Oh, they got a new 30, so now yeah. they can take their time again. Oh, Kajijas with a nice little yeah, so steal. Kajijas, he's had a solid game as well. Oh, yeah. Kicks it out to Martinez. Underneath to Malo. Nice look there by his teammate to give him an easy look inside. And we have a substitute. We're inside two minutes, so we can have subs after made baskets. If you get scored on, we've got a timeout, Sergeant Park, with 48.3 on the clock. 18 point lead, Sergeant Park up 80 62 over the Andrew Minarski, Lancasters. And one more time, we're going to be going down into the Flames timeout. And here we go. Smile, you're on TV. Buddy. <laughs> Look, we're doing a good job. Let's finish this off strong. Right? DJ. Who's inbounding the ball? Who's inbounding the ball? You're inbounding the ball. He's inbounding the ball. You're one. You're the one guard. You're the other guard. Right? And we have you and Stevens down the middle. Right? With their pressure. What's the ball? Does he have a driving opportunity? Yeah, they're they're cooked. Can I watch this after the game? Three, two, one. Please. All right, folks, welcome back. We've got 48.3 seconds left in this uh, semifinal match between the Sergeant Park Flames and the Andrew Minarski. We're just oh. We've got a Minarski timeout after the sub, so they know they're going to get a front court possession. That is the correct call. Mm -hmm. All right. How many 
times two, folks. That was more or less just to get the possession and get it in the front court there. For I can. I can. Turn and look. He Logan go down, pass the ball. Nice team. Hey, we're in control. Run. Ready? Three, two, one. Run. 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 End of the game. Miguel Lingel for Sergeant Park. Looks like we have a whole new squad in the Sergeant Park. 18 points and uh, 48 seconds left. Ball into the hands of Lingel. A little back pressure, and we've got the foul there by Kajigas. So we've got fouls to give. It could be a lengthy 36 seconds. <laughs> Foul by number 11, that's Lucien Eridin. That's 14 fouls by Minarski. We've got the egg beater arms going on the sideline here. Good defense by Minarski. You're so right. <laughs> I think he elevated off the ground there. <laughs> Or he just landed four planes at uh, Winnipeg <laughs> International. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're uh, we're into bonus here now. Now we're shooting. I understand the game at uh, you know 16 points with. 27 seconds. That's a tough one to make up uh, on the foul line. That's not enough. For that. That's no. five possessions. Yeah. That you need. Yeah. So that's uh, that's a tough call. Yeah. It's now official. Number four, Logan sheet. Lacuna, is now officially on the score sheet. There we go. Point wise. Oh, nice shot. Back yeah. to back. Nice release. James Caslam, you know, patiently with the ball outside. Ball in the hands of number 14, Aaron Mamgan. Number four taking the turn at the wheel. That's uh, Logan Lacoon again with the ball. This is down number nine, or 29. Kicks the ball inside. And that's the ball game, folks. There we go. Sergeant Park, 82. Edward Minarski, 64. So congratulations, Sergeant Park. They will advance, I believe it is, to the finals tomorrow night against the Acadia Axemen. So we hope that uh, you find the time. If you can't make it down to J.H. Brun's to the final tomorrow, folks, so you can tune in again to LRSD TV. Warren, there it is. final turn on the on the dial here. What are your thoughts on this game? Well, again, you know what? Uh, that whole second half, Sergeant Park just found you know, a whole nother speed to it. Uh, they did a good job of uh, starting to clamp down on the big man. Uh, and Liano, making the other players on the team, you know, find uh, offense for Andrew Minarski. However, you know, that didn't carry over as much in the second half. Both teams worked hard and obviously worked hard to get here. But, you know, in sports, there's only one that can move on, and today it's Sergeant Park, and uh, they worked hard and definitely deserved it. Lots of fun watching them, a lot of fun watching win. Oh, my God. Yeah. So much speed, so much, uh, you know, it, uh, put so much effort into the court. that uh, Absolutely. It's a lot of fun game. All right, Warren, well, thank you. You've had a long day at the, uh, on the microphone <laughs> yeah, here. So number four. You need to uh, get out of here and get some rest, get the pipes uh, rested up for tomorrow night's finals. We'll, uh, Looking forward we'll turn to the it. mics off tomorrow, but we hope you join us again tomorrow, awesome. tomorrow folks, on LRSD-TV. Thanks, Grant. All right, good night, folks. <laughs>